Hello and welcome to Simple Software 001, the beginner's guide to batch scanning and indexing. This class has been tailored to uh, people who are brand new to batch scanning and is designed to just teach you some of the terminology and uh, explain some of the background and what the steps are in a batch scanning process so that you're familiar with these steps going forward because they'll be referred to in the other classes without further explanation. So first, what is batch scanning? If you're extremely new to batch scanning, uh, this is an important question. Uh, batch scanning differs from um, normal flatbed scanning because with batch scanning you're scanning multiple documents on a sheet fed scanner at one time. And so since you're scanning multiple documents, the key part to batch scanning is organizing those scanned images so that you can find them later. So what is indexing? Well, indexing is how you apply the organization to those scanned image files. And it's important because obviously you have to be able to find your documents after you scan them. If you have no organization to the scanned images, you just have numbered files or something like that, then how are you going to possibly find what document is what from your scanned images? So indexing is the most laborious part of batch scanning because unless you have some way of automating the indexing process, you have to manually type basically all the information that's contained on all of the file folders in all of the files that you're scanning. So if you're doing a back file conversion of your filing cabinets, you have to label what cabinet it came from, what drawer, all of the labels that are written on each individual file you'll want to index so that you can search by all that information that you're used to looking for when you find those files. Indexing is also required for your electronic documents. If you have uh, office documents, PDF files, or any kind of file saved on your hard drive, you want to be able to find those files, you have to apply some kind of search criteria to make them show up in your re search results when you do a search. So since indexing is so labor intensive, Simple Index is designed to automate that process as much, much as possible. And there's several different ways to automate the indexing process. The first is barcode recognition. Barcode recognition is the preferred method for automating indexing. It is very fast to process barcodes. The barcode recognition is very accurate. In general, you get the best results and the most, the largest savings in labor with barcode recognition. Optical character recognition, or OCR, is the process by which software is able to take an image, which is basically a picture of your document, and convert it into machine-readable text, like a Word document or a text file, basically the main difference there is that the text can be parsed by by software and it can be used in index fields whereas the image data is just like a picture there's no way to search for the text in a, in a picture of a document you have to convert it to some kind of machine readable format and optical character recognition is how that's done and you can in automate indexing with optical character recognition by zeroing in on a zone within the image that contains the data that you want to use and reading that data and having it inserted into one of your index fields automatically. Um, other ways that optical recognition can be used in simple index, uh, we use what we call template matching and dictionary matching with our OCR, which it allows a large block of text to be searched for a certain pattern and when that pattern is found, the index field is populated automatically. And that provides a much bigger, bigger benefit to the OCR automation in Simple Index. Database autofill is the process where you look up a key field that is either manually indexed or OCR'd or recognized from a barcode, but that key field is used to find other information that's related to it. For example, a 
social security number could be used in a lookup database to find a name, address, and phone number, and all of those index fields can then be populated automatically from the database record because you have all that data already stored in a database somewhere. What you use is the autofill to look up that record and use the existing data to populate your search fields in Simple Index. And the final way Simple Index uh, automates the indexing process is through its streamlined user interface. Simple Index has keyboard shortcuts for all the different commands so that you can keep your hands on the keyboard and you don't have to reach for the mouse every time that you want to perform a different function. The processing workflow is very streamlined. All of the steps involved in scanning and indexing documents are performed sequentially and the user doesn't have to kick off a separate menu command to perform each step in the process. And that all goes into our motto, which is how many clicks does it take to scan my documents? We always look at every scanning and indexing process in terms of how many clicks does it take and we try to minimize that number and by doing so we create the most efficient scanning process possible and provide the lowest overall cost of ownership for the system. The steps involved in a batch scanning process are first you've got to scan the documents obviously. Next you run automated processes like barcode recognition, OCR, and other automated processes like DSKU and DSPECL, which we'll cover on the next slide. These automated processes have to run because step three is verification, manual verification of those automated processes. So if you're reading index values with OCR and you need to verify that the correct OCR results were obtained, you need to do that afterwards. So step three, is the manual verification step and you also in step three review the images to make sure that they are all legible and at the end of manual verification you finally export the images and save them in the organized file format that you want so when you're scanning documents there's a few terms that we'd like uh, to go over first uh, because they'll be used in the other classes First, your scanner drivers, there's two types of scanner drivers. There's Twain and ISIS drivers. And Twain is a more general standard. It's also used for digital cameras and uh, other types of devices as well. And it is um, the driver that's built into the basic version of Simple Index. ISIS drivers are a specialized driver that are designed specifically for high-speed document scanners and particularly on high-end scanners over 50 pages per minute. The ISIS drivers often perform much better than the Twain drivers. When you're scanning documents with Simple Index, typically documents are scanned in black and white. Black and white images are much smaller they take a much less hard drive space and they're perfectly easy to read because typically most business documents only contain text and so as long as you're not scanning a lot of pictures black and white is perfectly suitable for viewing those types of documents when scanning black and white images typically 200 dpi is the standard for basic archival type scanning applications and 300 dpi is the recommended setting if you're using OCR to automate indexing or do full, doing full page OCR on your documents. DPI stands for dots per inch and is the resolution of the scan files. The reason 300 dpi or a higher resolution is recommended for OCR is because it increases the accuracy because there's more detail for the OCR to read. There's three different types of image files that Simple Index can output. There's TIFF, PDF, and JPEG. TIFF and PDF are both suitable for black and white images. JPEG is completely not suitable for black and white images. Do not use JPEG with black and white documents because JPEG, first, it, it, still, it encodes the color information whether it's present or not. So you're actually creating a larger file with JPEG than you do with TIFF or PDF. Also, 
the JPEG compression distorts your images and makes the text much harder to read, whereas the TIFF and PDF black and white formats are not lossy. So definitely use TIFF or PDF if you're scanning black and white documents. Also, multi-page documents. TIFF and PDF support multi-page files. JPEG does not. For color files, any of the three formats will work. JPEG will typically provide better compression than TIFF, but PDF supports the JPEG compression method inside the PDF, so they'll typically be the same size. So any of those formats will really work for color. For black and white, you want to use group 4 compression is what it's known as. This is the default compression for black and white TIFF images, but if you notice that your files are larger than for 200 dpi black and white images they shouldn't be any larger than 50 kilobytes for 300 dpi they shouldn't be any larger than a couple of hundred kilobytes per image so if your files are much larger than that like for example if there are a couple of megs per page then you need to compress your images using group 4 compression there's also three different types of PDF files. There's native PDF files, image PDF files, and image plus hidden text PDF files. And just to go over the differences between the two, a native PDF file is a PDF that's been generated using either the Acrobat Distiller or by printing to a PDF file from, it, from an application like Microsoft Word. Native PDF files are text-based. They don't have a picture of the document. It's, actual, it's the actual document text laid out in a PDF file. An image PDF is what's created by simple index when you scan or by typically by um, digital copiers that use the scan function and output PDFs. What you have is a PDF that has an image inside it. Typically it's a TIFF image and the embedded image uh, can be processed using OCR and barcode recognition with simple index but only with an image based PDF. Image plus hidden text PDFs have an image layer plus a hidden text layer. Typically, the hidden text is OCR text, which is not 100% accurate. So you don't want to view the OCR text because you'll see the mistakes and things like that. But you hide the OCR text behind the image so that you can search through the text and view the original document. So a hit image plus hidden text PDF has both the original scanned image and OCR text hidden behind it. Lastly, we'd just like to go through a few other imaging terms that'll be used throughout the Simple Software University. DSKU and DSpeckle are both image processing functions that clean up images from different problems that are commonly associated with scanning. Skew is when, when the page goes through the scanner just a little bit off center and, and there's a little bit of crookedness in the image. Deskewing will uh, compensate for that. And despeckling will compensate for brightness or contrast settings that are a little bit off and cause noise or snow or speckles to show up in the background of the image. Annotation is the ability to draw on your image, for example, put sticky notes or arrows or highlighting. Uh, it's a virtual way of interacting with document images so that you can do all the different things that you do to uh, highlight different uh, areas or make notes on your actual documents you can do virtually with annotations. Redaction is a form of annotation where you're, the main purpose is to block out information for privacy concerns. And Simple Index provides an automated way to do that as well. Imprinting or bait stamping are terms. Uh, bait stamping is something that's typically done in legal environments where a stamp is actually physically impressed upon uh, the bottom of every page in a batch of documents to number them sequentially. Imprinting is the process by which scanners often do that while they're scanning. You can actually purchase, for some scanners, an inkjet printer that will imprint a sequential number on the bottom of the page as it's being scanned. Simple Index will actually electronically imprint images using 
annotation. Cover sheets are index pages that contain all of your index information and are placed on the front of a multi-page document and used to index the file automatically or just provide all the index information for manual operators and it's not necessarily a part of the document it's just a, a page on the front that has all your index information. And a document management system if you're not familiar um, typically in large corporate environments you have a document management system which is run on a server and has a document database that is used for finding and viewing documents. With Simple Index, Simple Index can either st function as a standalone document management system or a very basic uh, document management system for small businesses or departments using Simple Search. But typically, Simple Index would be integrated as a front end in corporate environments to a document management system to provide the document scanning capabilities. But um, an enterprise document management system is going to have uh, features like HIPAA compliance and uh, security and a lot of different features that Simple Index just is not designed to provide. So document management systems are the typical back end for Simple Index's front end. The Simple Index document imaging suite contains several applications that work together to provide a complete solution for almost any document management project. Simple Index is the main scanning and indexing application. Simple Cover Sheet is designed to work on the front end of Simple Index where you can print barcode cover sheets and place them in between or on your documents before they're scanned and these would contain all the information you need to index those documents and find them later. Simple Send is designed to distribute documents once they've been scanned, either FT by, via FTP where you can upload documents to a central server from multiple scanning stations, or via email where you can distribute documents to multiple recipients from a single point of scanning. Simple View is a search, searching, viewing, and image quality control tool. It uses folders and file names to organize the documents and browse them uh, similar to Windows Explorer, but it has a uh, integrated thumbnail viewer that lets you view thumbnails of files and pages within a multi-page file very quickly. Uh, you can also edit and annotate those documents easily with Simple View. Simple Search is a database-based viewing tool. It's actually built into Simple Index. It's just a limited license of Simple Index. The difference between Simple Search and Simple View is that Simple Search uses a database, so you can have a lot more data associated with each document. You're not limited to just what you can store in a folder or file name and gives you much more complex data-based search, searching capabilities than Simple View does. Simple Export is designed to integrate with your third-party document management systems or uh, custom databases, uh, custom business software. Virtually any application that accepts either an XML file or a text file as input, Simple Export would, it can be used to convert the output from Simple Index into these formats. All of these applications come with free versions, so you can uh, install them on any computer you want and use them for free in a workstation mode. And if you want to integrate these op applications with other workflows via the command line interface or uh, using a server process, the paid versions are required to do that. This concludes the introduction to uh, simple software and uh, document scanning and indexing. Thank you very much.